do with a billion dollars. The dream might become reality for one lucky Powerball winner wherever you are. Emma Jayon tells us what's next after nobody net matched all of the numbers last night. That's right. My numbers were so close, Trisha. <laughs> like off by one on like almost each of them. Yes, it was really close. But you know, last night the jackpot prize was at nine hundred million dollars. Without a winner, that jackpot has now grown to a billion dollars. And today we saw people in our area lining up, hoping to cash in on the next drawing. Thank you. Many in the tri-state are feeling lucky, hoping that their printed ticket will match all the numbers of the next Powerball drawing Wednesday night. I bought $20 worth, and then here with my boss, he bought $186 worth, so it was just working. <laughs> Hoping playing numbers to get lucky. It is a game of luck. The odds of winning a Powerball jackpot are about 1 in 292 million, according to Powerball. But for the price of $2 per ticket, some say it's worth the dream of imagining what they would do with a billion dollars. And I already have the money spent. Hey, what would you spend it on? Well, of course, uh, Chips Workforce Alliance, which is a nonprofit group that I run for young uh, persons of color, which is amazing. But then also, I mean, setting our family up for financial um, wellness forever and ever if we could, you know, all that kind of jazz. And, and then maybe a really nice shopping spree for myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd probably travel all over the United States and give it to the less fortunate. Those hoping to win are trying out different methods of picking their lucky numbers. I just let the machine pick it for me. Okay. But what he did was he took all the numbers from the previous winners and played them all back. It's never been hit, so that's his strategy. Regardless of the strategy, the general manager at the Shell Station in Queensgate says all the excitement is a win-win for their store. You know, they usually come in, they'll get their Powerball, and they'll grab a bag of chips or a pop. It definitely raises other, you know, retail. And again, this is only the seventh time in U.S. history that a lottery jackpot has reached at least one billion dollars. Again, the next Powerball drawing is tomorrow night, and that winner can choose to take one billion or take a lump sum cash payment of about five hundred and eighteen million dollars. All right. So, what's your strategy? What do you go with? Do you just so, let like the machine pick, or what do you do? I do both. I like what I did last night. I did two tickets that I picked, and then two auto picks. And the ones that I picked were a lot closer than the auto picks, which are like birthday. Birth Days, yeah, anniversary, like different, like significant numbers that are, you know, from dates throughout the years. Did you, mom's you, birthday. All that stuff. Are you buying something for tonight? No. I'm going to, though. Yes. But I have certain places where I go and get them. Oh, all right. <laughs> I have, like, I'm going to look at past winners and see if there's anything around <laughs> here and go to a lucky place. I know. there. Are, we have done a couple of stories, I think, with people who have had the most lottery winners, you know, those type of things. So Yeah, that would help. That would have helped. Yeah. <laughs> go there, right? <laughs> all right. Thanks, Amber. Uh -huh. Hey, did you know?